YouTube, what's up, man? This is a gameplay, an example of how sometimes you got to scrap plan A. And I actually played this guy probably two weeks ago, uploaded a video. So if you guys haven't, you guys will notice this game because it was the last game I posted when I actually lost. So this is essentially a rematch. I know his scheme is going to run a lot of that under center eye formation, a lot of corner routes, a lot of max protection. And we'll see how I do defensively in this game because last game I believe he had almost 50 points, 500 yards. He was killing me. And uh, in the middle of this game, I, I, I reminisce back and I realize sometimes it doesn't work. And if you want to watch these games live, man, twitch.tv slash dub dot. That link is below. Also, man, all my social medias, you guys know that by now. But let's get into this gameplay. I'll show you guys how to, you sometimes you just got to go in a different direction. So we're going to have to defend this strong close formation. You guys know it's very popular, whether it be strong close, eye close, these eye formations where you can put the corner routes, put the post routes and still run the ball. Now, I've had one defense I run against this all year, and that's edge blitz and try to let Miles Garrett fight. If you guys remember the video I put out earlier, it's against the same guy as he hits the corner route takes me to the crib second play of the game but this against the same guy where i told you miles garrett was not getting the job done and the first drive right there miles Jar garrett is not getting the job done um but i'm gonna stick to it one thing about madden players were stubborn anybody you know you're stubborn you know what works you know how you attack something normally and i tell you guys that all stick to your plan but sometimes you gotta abandon it but right now we're gonna stick to it we get screamed off the edge first play right away this guy likes a little of this 3-4 bear. I've told you guys many times it cannot cover spread out formations. If you mix in the out routes, mix in some slants, mix in attacking the sideline. And right there, he manned up the outside. We hit the drag underneath. That's what I'm saying. Just attack the fact there's only one corner out there that can make a play. And here we're going to go for the crossing route. Bang, he gets picked off. But I told you guys this. If you attack the sideline and you throw a bad pass, it's either your guy or no guy. It's out of bounds. As we hit the flat right there, that's what I mean. Attack that sideline. There's so many people right in the box that the sideline is open because it just cannot be covered too. There's no deep safety over there. The one safety is in the middle of the field. So it's tough to defend the spread out things. A little bit of blast, you guys know. Blast is, is sketchy, especially against two safeties with enforcer. Um, if I saw all three down linemen enforcers, I might rock blast a lot more, but we're gonna blast right there. Get inside the one yard line. Three blasts in a row is worth it when it's this close fumble, but Big Lane Johnson, the best offensive lineman in the NFL, picks it up. I actually recovered a fumble. Mark that down. Know what time it happened because I recovered my own fumble. I don't know how many times you guys have seen this, that in videos because it does not happen that often. So I'm sticking to my edge blitz, sending seven, just trying to get some pressure and he has time to throw a deep post from the pocket up top to Julio Jones. Uh, so we definitely, it's getting close to abandoning ship. It abandoning, I'm still in edge blitz here. We're sending everybody. He rolls out. Actually, would hit another corner route on me. Boom. All right. Now, not only am I not getting any pressure, but he's able to roll out. I'm, I'm strongly going to abandon ship. Now, you got to have a plan B. Now, a lot of times I don't have a plan B, I have a plan A, and if that's not working, hey, it's going to be a rough day. And that's most of the time. But if you guys watch the Mutt Invitational Tournament, if you watch any salary cap this year as he scores another touchdown, uh, the best run defense has been nickel 335 wide. Uh, just the alignment, I feel like the three down linemen and the two linebackers that are outside really occupy all the offensive linemen. So you can shoot a lot of gaps with the linebackers and the safeties. Now, for the best run defense, you'll put your safeties and spies. Now, when someone's passing, you really can't do that that much. As I roll out, hit the corner route, boom, on the sideline right there to miss the Terrell Owens. We have Terrell Owens and Julio Jones activated. Read option right there. There's so many people covering that up. Uh, nowhere really to go for Michael Vick. We get a second and nine. We're going to look for that corner route again, but we're going to get out of there with Vick, make a play. I can't fumble. Got to get down. Got to get low with Michael Vick like that. Uh, next play, we hit that flat again. We eat a hit with Calvin Johnson, big body. We can take those types of hits. Next play, flat route again. Randy Moss, you have to make this 3-4 bear respect the flats. Uh, I'll do it three times in a row. If you're not going to put a flat zone out there or you're going to expect the linebacker to get out there, I'm going to do the flat route. You have to make him get out of that, and here we go. He checks to a little bit of nickel, nickel over G. Uh, the rest of this game, he's pretty much going to run palms as we run into the end zone right there. Walter Payton. Now, Palms is one of the best 
um, pass defenses in the game because honestly, for me, it's unpredictable. Sometimes you drop back and, and everybody's open, and sometimes you drop back and every single route is covered and the DBs are five steps in front of your receiver. So uh, it's, I, I wish I could tell you I know how it works. I wish I could. But this is the drive as he gets a holding call. Obviously, he was probably still an aggressive from the last drive. This is the drive I went to 3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-
It's getting a little tougher for him. And now we're just going to try to run the ball out. That's it. Boom. Run the clock out. One first down ends this game here. Give the ball to Walter Payton. Uh, close and in third and short. He's going to use a timeout. This game is cooked if I get this first down. And we do. GG's in the, in the comments. Uh, good game. This was just a great example of, man, sometimes playing A, you got to chalk it. And not only was that the first half of this game, the first two drives, you got to remember back to the game you played two weeks ago, you know? It's kind of like game film, you know? You accumulate more and more and more. And one thing about me, the more I play somebody, the more I see their four or five plays and their tendencies, the better I get. And this game was the one where I said, you know what? You're not getting that edge that edge blitz defense anymore. You're going to get more coverage. You're going to have to make some reads. You're going to have to put the right route combinations out here because I don't want to give you the easiest things in the world like I was both last game and the first two drives of this one. So, like I said, sometimes you got to bail. So, bail on this video, but not before you hit the like button, you comment, and you subscribe.